Hey guys, I've got a um, few weeks worth of footage for you. I've been a little slack and also a little busy. <laughs> so uh, we'll get right into it and enjoy. Here we are in the wild where two males are fighting over a female. <laughs> <laughs> We can't we can't decide who the winner is yet, but she will oh, soon boy. choose. Hey boys and girls, uh, we've some orange shit in here. This is for the nurse call. We've got our nurse call design. So these um, are like the hubs. So there's lights sort of above every bed, and then from the bed there's just like a star point. So the light at the end of the bed is a star point. So there'll be like a nurse call button here on the bed head an emergency button and something else and then different different areas have like a screen so this this point in the middle here is like a screen to show what bed has come up and all the screens in the whole hospital show if someone's hit hit a button so as you can see the cabling is going in didn't bother with the catenary or anything we're just using the uh, nail gun hits which uh, is working pretty fine it's a cat 6 cable not cat 6a so it's a little bit lighter and it's looking pretty good. The company can talk more vertically. And they didn't look that off me. I'm asking you. I think I ordered mine the most recent delivery, mate. Yeah, I'm going anymore. Hey? You don't have any more. Are you sure? I don't know. Oh, that's roof. The roots, Gordon. Been in the box that came yesterday with the shirt. Oh, okay. I ordered two boxes. <laughs> yeah, there's some over there. Oh, big week reckon. Did I run out of gear on you, Andrew? <laughs> away from my speed. I'll just show you back. <laughs> the money is so I'll tell you this way. This is how I look at my toddlers. What? It's, the, it's, it's this angle. It's this angle. Start, pun Just start punching each other. <laughs> Fish eye this shit. Where's the light, boys? Aaron! <laughs> Got a boner. Know what you're doing in this death trap? Yeah, she so, breaker isolated. Where's your lockout tag out, mate? Fucking poor shame. We've had some developments. That's not Anaconda. Turns out that we can just use heavy duty conduit, though. So, our engineers approved this. Um, I don't necessarily agree with his ruling in the rule book, but he's the one that's making the call, so that's what we're doing. I'll put the clause number for this, because um, I'd like everyone else's opinion on it as well. Uh, there's two clause numbers, and he used a like a note to get away from that section and use a different section of the rule book to cover us. So we'll have to wait and see 
we'll have to wait and see. Um, well, I mean, the decision's made. It's not up to me anymore, so um, we're just going to do this and roll with it. Similar to what I've done in other hospitals, so we'll see what happens. If you belly popping water, I'll give you ten dollars on the spot. <laughs> if you do, if you do, if you do, if you do the worm, I'll make it twenty. <laughs> this is how all my porn videos are filmed. And this slid down without undoing those bolts. Should we um the hold down clamps? Should we just should we just pump it up? Oh, oh, look at that, man. It's just gonna... <laughs> look at that! You need know the sound like that. Mate, that's working a dream. That's gonna fucking kill all of us if we... <sighs> this drops back down immediately. Just, um... Just gotta support this so it doesn't... Yeah. Oh, I guess you give all the cables and the camera? No. Yeah, this one, you just like... Yeah, this one's all right. Yeah, this one's all right. B-E-A, beautiful. And the angle's gonna level you out nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Um, I don't know what it is, man. I'm just going to kill Jake and put the tool back. Go, go, go! Yep, there we go. Oh, dear, mate. Yeah, nice. How many sparkies does it take to put in a tech screw? <laughs> <laughs> One and a half? One and a half, mate. Plumbers can be taught something. You'd know. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Dave seal of approval, what do you reckon? We'll have to patent the. Right, so we just got a normal light here. This is, um,. It's going to be on the equipotential potential bonded loop. So I'll just need this up first. Right. As much as possible, I like having a very neat rough in. Makes you look a bit more professional. these amateurs out here. Alright, so we'll just snip that. Yeah, mate, I didn't, didn't ding the cause. Every time, mate, all right?
that's all ready to go. So for the earth here, we've uh, got to put it in a two screw connector and then drop a towel down. So the, the reason that they want that is if this is looping to extra points, they want a double screw connector on this junction just to make sure that everything down the line past this point uh, still 100% has an earth, you know, this equal potential bond. So. And from what I can gather, the reasoning is as well um, is that they don't want a single screw protecting the integrity of the whole loop. So. Just following the rules, boys. Get in there. <clears throat> Must be German. Guten Tag. Lovely, right, so that's all set up. And we'll just need to do, so the, the, that cable there's for the Dali loop. We'll have to strip that and terminate that when we get the fittings. It's a little bit, a little bit away yet. All right, so. And Dali, oh, I should, I should explain. I want to appeal to more, more viewers than just us Sparkies, but DALI stands for Digital Addressable Lighting Interface. It's a program that most light fittings use that have any sort of control with them. And you can have different control systems, but the lights will still be a DALI light. So you can have CBUS or Connect or a bunch of other ones, DynaLight, heap of different, um, heap of different manufacturers here in Australia whether they're made in Australia or not. Alright, hold base. Okay, so we'll just loosen these up. Okay, so our, um, there's our, so our, our earth is going into the, or our equal potential bond is going into our earth terminal. Right, and then that means our earth from the light fitting will just go into the loop terminal here.
Alright. So since we've got the extra cable, we'll probably break out the knockout this time. Just press those down like this. Tuck them in and get our cable on top. Should still fit. Nice and tight. Always flush cut, boys. Always. <laughs> A lot to fit off just one plug base, eh? Just fucking... Everything in this room is similar to this. Mate, these things are fucking shit, honestly. I've tried them out a bunch. I'll give them... I'll... I got them to do this, like this. But these are, are not big enough for Australian cables, mate. Our cables are bigger, just like everything else. Mm-hmm. Ah, fucking hot shit. Look at this. Oh, fucking where's the camera? I'll take some photos. It's fucked, bro. This thing's fucked. Garbage. Focus. Every core has done that too. Just rips the top off. Really hard, cuz. You have to hit this hard. This part, hey? Right oh, there. Jesus. Do we go for gold? Yeah, that looks like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Impact check! This fucking pole wall. You! <laughs> I'm just teaching, I'm just doing toolbox. Fucking um, bludgers, mate. Toolbox talks 7 a.m. It's like fucking. I must have been very quick, mate. The ladders, guys, see there's like slight cracks on there. Just doing toolbox talk on the ladders. Yeah, guys, just let's see, guys. Is this a she, is this a she comes first toolbox talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! What does that mean? Do it again. The tongue rhino. <laughs> He's shy. That's adorable. Uh -huh. These are uh, big boys. They're Thirty-two amp circuits. You want to show them? Yeah, yeah. Give us, show us, show us that one. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so dodging you know all the goodies and we ran out of room on the tray, so they're going up on the roof. <laughs> Duh. Right, and we'll trudge, trudge, trudge over to my room and we can see where this earthing fuckery is. Alright, have a go at it mate. Second bar, that's a 60 pole bar. This is another one there now. I might have said this already in the video. I'm not really keeping track of it, to be honest. But um, I've had to add a couple more and these panels on the wall here. So that's, that's my earthing point there in that one. And uh, I'll see, see if we can zoom. Where's the better, that's a better one there. We'll just zoom, it might be a little shaky, but there we go. So that's a six mil lug. 
and a six mil bolt and we've just we need to earth up the um we need to earth up the top plates and then make sure that each stud is screwed so if the jip rockers were lazy and didn't screw the top plates that like the top plate to the top of the stud i've got to go around and screw it just to make sure that everything's everything's good so i'll do the zoom in again and we'll see see that one's got a screw but i've got to go through and check that that all of them have screws and then uh these bits are awkward too because i've got to do a link from this stud to that stud to make it continuous and um yeah it's a bit of a mish so i can show you what that looks like because i've done this little section here so again it's a little hard to see i might jump up on the ladder just bear with me that's better all right so that's our feeder line back to the equal potential bond and this is all cable tied just because it's it's ugly otherwise or well, it's ugly anyway but let's, let's, let's be real so i've got a link from now i need to keep it continuous and it has to be in a two screw connector to loop off anywhere else so i've done a tail from our feed to this one and one of them goes across and picks up that top plate there All right and then another one here so there's a a feed a tail that way and then a tail to this connector and from this connector i've got two tails one picks up the top plate there and one gets the one around the corner there so i'm covered um continuity wise with this earthing thing so that's that's in the standard as 3003 so i must abide by it put it down we go yeah, look at me going down the ladder forwards. What a rebel. Right, and just for a bit of a look at it, so this is it's a similar principle. We've got my loop in, loop out, and then tail down to my plug base. And oh, yeah. this guy had stopped squealing in my ear. The uh, the tail, the earth from this TPS is just going into the loop terminal. So it's actually not used, but it needs to be continued through the circuit, so if it's uh, yeah, a different, so this one here, I can't reach that one, but it's got an in and an out cable. So switch wire in, switch wire out. Um, that earth is joined in the loop terminal to, uh, to uh, keep it all continuous. Come and headbutt it again. Come and headbutt it again. Aaron, where are you? <laughs> Come on, mate. You getting a drink out of there? No, what the fuck? You put it on the board and put it on the way, bro. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah. That's funny. That's Marky Mark, Mark 2.0. <laughs> legit. Useless. He's legit, Mark 2.0. He'll be an engineer for sure, that kid. That useless, eh? That useless. <laughs> Dave He's not useless, he's just misunderstood. He probably is. Alright, I love you Dave. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I'd show you, show you these as well. I brought a, um unused one. It's a, uh, if you friggin' focus, it's a uh, pipe clamp, an earthing pipe clamp. So I've just got a few here that are installed and everything. So these ones obviously you can see there's different different holes so these will these will bend up they're pretty bendy but they'll bend up and fit so that's a one inch pipe a three quarter and half and half they're all on nice and tight so i've got good readings i did a little quick test of them the other day and yeah they're looking pretty good so these are all the medical gases it's all upside down but you got your um suction tool air oxygen breathing air and the nitrous, the good shit. <laughs> but yeah, so all these need to be earthed as part of that system. So um, yeah, I've also had to, um, there's a water pipe. So down, down there, there's gonna be a sink. Um, there's some water pipes traveling through the surgery here. I wasn't 100% sure, so I just, um, just went ahead and bonded them as well. Jake, you know you did it. Jump in, mate. Come on. <laughs> Fucking Jake, you did it! <laughs> Good.
guilty walking away. It's that Mom's fucking mullet. Here we're coming up to the river. This is about usually the river's like 20 meters down here. Have a go at it. Tall grass usually. Buzz. Rain. The rain is the heaviest rain I've seen. Let's check it out, man. This is my street. I'm going to drive through freaking six inches of water just to get home. Unbelievable how much water there is. This is after one heavy night of rain. Everything's so so look at that poor bastard's driveway. Holy shit. Oh my god. Nice pillar box. Unbelievable man. This is crazy. and down again. Working diligently. Ah. <laughs> well, I had a cruisy sleep in. I did, mate. It was lovely. It was me. One day I'll get in early. I was near at six. So, uh, Dougie, uh, this is where the line isolation monitor is going. Pay attention, mate. Come on. This is where the line isolation monitor is going. It uh, protects our UPS feeds. And if we don't have that, people get lit the fuck up. Also, if you have a line isolation monitor, you don't need RCD protection. And you are good to go, bros. You got it? Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you're enjoying the videos, try and share them. Um, not so fast on all the algorithm bullshit, but um, my channel's pretty niche, so if you've got an apprentice or something, or someone that would be interested in this thing, throw them a share. Thanks guys. Cheers.